Welcome on board the Majesty 100. I'm with Richard Morris, the director of Australian Super Yachts. Richard, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Welcome aboard. How's the show been for you so far? Unbelievable. It's been three years since the last one and we've got beautiful weather, tens of thousands of people coming to the show and we've got the biggest yacht on the show, the best spot and we're, it's amazing. We're just blown away. What's the response been to this yacht in particular throughout the show? Uh, well, huge and uh, I think we're placing two orders for one uh, just from visitors who've come to the show. Fantastic. And that's the third time we've actually had the, the biggest in, in the show. So. Well, let's take a look at what's inside. Please, come on up. So the Majesty 100 by Golf Crafts is a hugely popular uh, line of uh, the series. The first one was built five years ago and now we're up to hole 18. It's amazing how, um, how popular they are. It's a 32 meter, 105 feet, takes 12 guests in five cabins and it's perfectly laid out for entertaining. Wow, this is a beautiful saloon area, isn't it? Really spacious. Places for lounging and dining as well. Absolutely, and because they're so successful for chartering, we can have up to 105 passengers for weddings and things. All of this furniture is actually removable. And if you wanted to, to take it off the vessel to make a dance floor or, or put a, a table here, you can. And very versatile. Tell me about the finishings, because it's very luxurious and contemporary, elegant. Well, at Golfcraft, the owners who order a vessel can actually pick pretty much every, every surface, the veneers, the marbles, the carpet, and the, and the furnishings, and they can have the final sort of uh, say in, in what they want to customise it. For instance, this yacht actually was ordered by an Australian five years ago, and this is Eucalyptus, who wanted an Australian veneer. Full height glass windows on either yeah. side, so lots of natural light in here. That's right, and when you're in the seated position at the lounge, you can actually see out. Let's head through to the master suite, because I've heard that's quite exceptional. It is, full beam, nice little dressing table before we're done. Necessary. Yeah. Very private, quiet place for the owner suite. No noise or anything. Very tranquil. It's beautifully designed. That's right, beautiful view. And the ensuite's just next door? It is, through the very large walkthrough wardrobe and then a, a beautifully appointed ensuite shower and bathroom. There's plenty of storage in this space as well, isn't there? Absolutely. There's cupboards everywhere and even under the beds, there's huge amounts of storage. Every square inch we've, we've used, we haven't wasted any space. And downstairs we have the lower guest suite and the beautiful foyer lined with uh, lovely leather panelling. Four cabins and two of them are identical double cabins with en suites. And then forward we have two twins and each of those twins have a fold down third bunk. So the yacht's actually designed to accommodate three families, three couples and up to six children. The aft deck has a huge amount of space. You could even fit a jacuzzi on there. Well, we actually have on, on other examples of this exact model. And it's an excellent entertaining area up here with the Sky Lounge, which is unique for a vessel of this size, normally you would have to buy a Tri-Deck Super Yacht to uh, have that second lounge. And then just down here we have the wheelhouse with some very nice seating. And this yacht has the state-of-the-art equipment. You can travel on long ocean passages, a range of 1,500 miles ago from Sydney to Fiji, non-stop, or to Auckland. And it's state-of-the-art, so it's commercial. And that's the, that's the point of difference with golf craft. They're the only super yacht shipyard, foreign yacht, that is, can and has delivered super yachts specifically for the Australian charter market. And that's our niche, and we're very good at it. And the Majesty yachts that are in Australia for charter, they are the, the, the top yachts because they can carry the most people. Richard, you've captained many yachts in your time. How does this compare in, in terms of driving the yacht? Well, they're, 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 they're the best at the state of the art. The equipment we use is the same top level technology that other shipyards use to. And so we have it all here and uh, it, it really is a, a joy to drive. They're very stable, big stabilizers. Uh, the technology that Golfcraft use now to, for efficiency, using heat from generators to, to power air conditioning to save the environment is uh, a very important initiative. And the, the quality of construction is, is as good as any European yard, but we have a, a better price point. 
I would love to see the foredeck. It's usually my favourite place on a yacht, so can we go take a look? We sure can. It's one of the favourite, my favourite places on board. I imagine this is a really great space for entertaining and socialising and also while cruising you've got amazing views. Oh, it's an excellent position with un, unbroken views throughout, but also for our, our other yachts that charter uh, and having large weddings on board here in Sydney Harbour, a very popular thing to do is to have the bride and the groom get married right up on the very front of the yacht and all the guests, up to 70 guests can come up to here and, and witness the uh, ceremony and we can position the yacht right next to the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge. It's this spectacular, they love it and they keep coming back. Thanks so much for having us on board Legacy, which is the biggest yacht in the show this year. We'll be back with more from the Sydney International Boat Show soon.